LinkedIn is a fantastic place to network and to get things done. However, there are some important things that you should avoid doing when, when networking there. I'm going to highlight five of the key points that you should take into consideration and to avoid. Let's dive in. If this is your first time visiting my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button for further advice and tips on career management. So in this video, I'm going to highlight five things not to do when networking on LinkedIn. Number one, one should not delegate their job searches to the hiring manager. An example of this is line manager heavily dislikes when a candidate approaches them with the LinkedIn message out of the blue telling, please have a look at my profile. Maybe I fit into your position. Point number one, don't, don't delegate your job search to the hiring managers. It will never work. Point number two, which is actually linking to the point number one, is in the case, in the weird case that you will get a response of saying, no, no fit. Don't go back and ask, well, would there be anything else that would fit my profile now that you have seen it? What this indicates to, to, to line manager is, is whoever is receiving the, the messages. Okay, so I, I recruit this person and then whenever there's any work to be done, um, he or she will dump that work and delegate it back to the superior which in this case would be me. So that point doesn't fly well either. Instead, spend time on research, um, be specific, uh, reach out to people when you truly have something to connect with. Um, and anyway, asking for, for a job, um, just passing your profile is never really a good idea unless that person clearly indicates that in the job description or their profile. Point number three, hello, sir. Hello, madam. And then straight to, um, for the ask, asking for jobs, asking for connections, um, asking for anything else. Um, this does not go well, uh, on LinkedIn. The reason is people respond when they truly see and care that somebody has put an effort on, on getting to know them, even if it's online. Hello, madam. I'm looking for a job. I'm looking for this or that. Um, this kind of mass production does not work. Um, very seldomly will somebody reply to you and actually show interest because they know that this message is going probably out to another hundreds or thousands of, uh, of people. So be specific instead. Um, show them that you care and that you've done the work and there's a reason why you're contacting them for. Number four, it's not advisable to ask for endorsements for your skills if you have not worked with the person. A lot of these things come, come on LinkedIn as well where people are openly asking for endorsements, uh, but then how can anybody endorse you or anybody else if they have not worked with them. You might be connected in LinkedIn to thousands of people for different reasons, but it doesn't mean that you are, cap you are capable of endorsing somebody. Huh? So if somebody asks you for an ind endorsement, uh, it's hard to endorse that person unless there's a business relation where we've, we've been actually working together. So, not advisable to shoot out those those endorse me, recommend me uh, mails unless, again, there's a reason and there's a backing why you're asking for it. And number five, never ever copy somebody's LinkedIn summary or the about section. This happens a lot as well. It is fine to, I mean, LinkedIn has more than half a billion profiles. It is perfectly fine to go explore, look around, see the styles and the ways people are writing their summaries, uh, pick some keywords, make a list, and then mix different styles, mix different methods, 
but write your own. Start with a blank sheet of paper, write your own, use the best practices, concepts and words, but it needs to be you. You need to own the statement and the part. It needs to be you. Don't copy, paste. Uh, somebody will figure it out and you get burned sooner or later. So those are my five tips. Um, easy to avoid, uh, big impact. <laughs>